Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman and in this video I want to introduce you to this. This is the Nexto DI NSB25 backup and storage unit. Now I've been using Nexto DI products for a long time and I was actually on the beta testing team for this particular unit and they've asked me to produce this video about it. Uh, one other product I've been using before this was the NVS2825. Now this device is really fantastic about the size of a paperback book, not much bigger, fits in your pocket, self-contained, and this is also a backup unit, and this one can back up S by S cards. So to use it, you simply uh, turn it on, just give it a couple of seconds to power up, and then you put your S by S card in the slot on the side here. It will ask me if it wants to make the copy, Actually, first of all, it's telling me that the last copy performed correctly. It's checking the S by S card. I have a choice, fast copy, copy and verify, or safe copy. If I just do a fast copy, it will simply take the nine gigabytes of data that's on this particular card and copy it to the internal hard drive. And that could be an internal hard drive or an SSD, depending on the model. Now, it is also possible with this unit to plug in via USB 3 an external drive to make additional copies to an extra drive. But it's a little bit um, clunky, it's a little bit cumbersome because you've got a cable and the extra drive. Um, it's okay, it does work, it is good, um, but really this, this unit is perfect for remote locations perhaps, uh, putting it in your pocket, very portable. But very often on a bigger production you need something with more capabilities than this that can make multiple copies perhaps and take a wider range of media because this is really just aimed at S by S. And this is where this new unit, the NVS25, comes into play. So as you can see it's a much bigger unit. It's about the size uh, of a house brick. It is fairly heavy. I'd say about one and a half kilograms. Again though it's a self-contained unit. There is a battery inside here, a rechargeable battery. But what's really neat about this is it's now a modular unit and it's designed to make multiple copies from the get-go. So if we just look at this end of the unit, if I remove this rubber bumper that helps protect it from shocks and damage, you'll see that there are four slots in here. Now if we look at the first slot, this is built into the unit, can't be changed, you'll see that we have a slot for SD cards as well as a compact flash card slot. Now just below that, there is a removable slot here for our solid state media. Now at the moment, I have an S by S card uh, reader in here, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Below that, there are two, what next to di call bridge pellets. And this is where you put your hard drives. And this unit takes two hard drives. These are standard 2.5 inch eSATA hard drives that you can pick up from Amazon, from eBay, wherever you buy your hard drives from. The only thing I would say is do get high quality drives because this is going to have your valuable uh, footage, your media from your shoot stored on it. Now to change one of these or replace it's actually really quite easy. On the side of the unit here there are two locking screws and just using a coin or something similar we can undo the screw and then the drive caddy slides out like this. Two small screws and you can put any standard 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD in here. Now on the back here we have a standard eSATA connector. So you could plug this into any computer that uses eSATA. But also there is a very small here standard USB 3 port. So I can directly plug this unit into any computer with USB 3 or even USB 2. It is backwards compatible. And that means that this becomes a self-contained hard drive. No adapters required, nothing else needed. This becomes the hard drive. Now if I just put this back in the unit, so they go in very simply, do up the screw again to secure it. So one of the nice things about this unit is because you yourself provide the hard drives, you're not paying any premium um, or anything else for hard drives. If you need extra hard drives, you can get them easily, quickly, 
um, from places like Amazon and your usual hard disk suppliers. There is nothing special about the hard drives. You do want to buy good quality hard drives, though. Obviously, you're going to have important and valuable media stored on these. But the device does make two copies. So if one hard drive was to go down for any reason, you will always have a backup on the second drive. And that's what's really nice about this unit. Now, coming back to this uh, removable uh, media bay here, again, this is removed by undoing a screw on the side of the unit. And the screws are designed that you can use a coin or something like that. You don't have to have a toolkit with you. And once you've undone that, pull out the media adapter. And there are all kinds of media adapters uh, coming for this unit. This one's for S by S. Um, but I also have one here for Sony's XQD cards, uh, as well as one here for hard drives or SSDs. There are also adapters for CFast, and there will be adapters for AXS and other media coming in the very near future. So it's a very, very versatile unit, much more um, versatile than the original units because we can change these modules out. So I put the S by S unit back in, like so and just nip up the screw before we go any further. And then replace the rubber buffer. So if I were to drop this, it would have some protection. OK, very simple uh, unit to use. Power it up by pressing and hold, holding the on button. And after about five seconds, the unit comes on. It runs a quick self check, make sure everything's OK. And then we'll get the status of our hard drives. So you can see that the two hard drives that are in this unit currently have 918 gigabytes of storage left. Now to make a copy, it's really very simple. If I take this S by S card and I pop it in the unit like so, the device will recognize the media after a few seconds. And it's now saying I'm going to make a copy of 9.68 gigabytes of footage from the card to both of the internal drives. Now, I could make a copy to just one drive if I want to. Uh, perhaps I'm running out of space on my drives and I need to double up. Um, but actually, I'm going to make a simultaneous copy, in this case, to both drives. So that gives me a master copy and a backup copy instantly. I have various copy options, uh, which is uh, fast copy, and copy and verify. And in this, for this particular one, I'm just going to do fast copy. It asks me if I want to change the name of the folder. I can rename the folder, or it will just create a new folder uh, based on the date. I'm going to use that um, folder name that it's suggesting, suggesting. Just going to click yes, and the copy starts. If I want to, I can abort the copy at any time. There's an abort key down there. Um, but it really is that easy. You put the card in press copy, select yes to select the folder name, and off it goes. You don't need to do anything more. The copy speeds of this device are extremely fast. It does depend on the media that you're copying from and the speed of the hard drives that you've chosen. But this was uh, just under 10 gigabytes of data off an S by S card onto both of the hard drives at the same time, and that took about two minutes. If I was to have used the full copy and verify, that would have taken about 20 to 30 percent longer because the verification process does take up a little bit more time. So it depends on how quickly you need to work. Um, but invariably, you can copy the material off your cards far quicker than you can actually shoot material onto the cards and fill them up. So it is a really uh, great way to work. Uh, it does simplify your workflow a lot, especially if you don't have uh, really enough media, perhaps, for a whole day of shooting. You can be shooting on one card while backing up another card using this device. You don't really need to attend it. It's very simple. It's self-contained. Uh, and that really helps you get the most out of your expensive recording media. Now, once your footage is on the hard drive, um, I shall remove the S by S card. It tells you to remove the card. And now I can actually, um, using the touch screen, I can select the hard drive. And I can actually browse the folders that are on the drive. So if I want to check the copies I just made, I can select that folder. And I can actually see how big the copy is, 9.7 gigabytes, 36 video files. And I can actually click up here and show thumbnails of all the clips. In fact, one of the options with the device is while you're making the copy, 
you can have it show you thumbnails of the clips while the copying is taking place. So here are thumbnails of all the clips that are in that last backup. And it gets better still because I can select a clip and I can actually play it back. And this supports most of the modern formats that are currently in use in most cameras. And there is 4K support coming as well uh, for, it won't be 4K uh, resolution playback, but the ability to play back 4K files on this device in the future. If you have a monitor on your set with you, it has an HDMI port. So you can actually plug it into an HDMI monitor, HDMI TV for playback and there is a headphone output as well, so you can hear the audio. So a really very, very versatile device, but it keeps getting better. So if I just go back a couple of pages on the menus, let's just go back to the drive page here with the showing me the hard drives, because I can actually plug in another hard drive. There is a USB 3 port here, and if I plug in this plain vanilla off-the-shelf USB 3 drive into the unit. It will pop up here in a moment. So now the external drive has shown up on the main screen. Uh, once that's connected, I could then make my copies from my solid-state media to all three drives at the same time, or I can actually sync these drives together. So if I select one of the internal drives, I have the ability to sync it uh, with the internal drive so that the external drive and the internal drive would contain the same content. And the nice thing about that is you might do a partial copy to the external drive and then maybe the next day you want to sync it again. It will just copy the files that need to be copied to make sure that both drives have the same content. But I can also export individual folders to the external drive by selecting export folders, choosing the folder that you want to export, and then pressing on the export button, and then select the target drive, which is my external USB drive, and then confirming OK. And it's now making the copy from the internal drive to the external USB hard drive. So there you have it, a really flexible, very versatile unit. Hard drives are just off the shelf hard drives, so you can buy whatever capacity you want or need from your regular hard drive supplier. It works with almost any type of solid state media, so a huge amount of flexibility there. If you update or replace your camera that uses a different media, you'll be able to update this unit simply by buying the appropriate adapter. And Next2Di products have always been reliable, so I suggest you check out the NSB25 storage bridge.